graphic extras. In this video, I'm just going to show you how to create a sort of unusual combination of custom shapes, basically join custom shapes together to form a new shape and then apply transformations like distortions, whatever, to that shape. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a ring shape and the ring shape is available on graphicextras.com. There's the website here, it's ring shape design. And just going to go over here, I'm going to first remove that text there. Okay, custom shape tool, select shape option, that's the key thing. And here's the actual shape design I'm going to use. It's a ring design. Uh, I'm just going to just drag that out. And there you've got the ring design. So what I'm going to do now, I'm actually going to duplicate that. As it's a shape layer, you can actually duplicate it very easy. Just go over here, just select the move tool, hold the alt key down, and then just drag that out. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to join them Approximately, I obviously just can't see exactly where the join is, but uh, the thing is, one thing in Illustrator, there's a really like nice tool from Astute Graphics uh, that does that sort of task. You can actually just join, and it makes it so much easier to join parts. I don't know if there's a, a plugin tool for Photoshop for that same thing, but uh, you can do it visually, of course. So I'm just going to hold the Alt key down again, just do it, just align those. I say it would be nice if that feature was available, but uh, I'm not aware of in Photoshop so just drag all those over so they're all individual layers so you can just see them now forming and just do it up there it's a bit harder when it's off screen you can't actually see the other shapes ah, I'm not going to do it all so I'm just going to one more and there you have it right okay so all those look approximately there's a few a gap <laughs> anyway the idea remains the same. So just going to go over here now. The key thing here is the layers palette. And I'm just going to go all the way through all those. And I'm going to select all those. Now go to the layer and combine shapes, unite shapes. Now that's all one shape. Now you can go over here, edit, and you'll find sometimes, and I don't know why sometimes it is, sometimes it's not, define custom shape is available. But if it's not, just select there. Just go over to the direct selection tool. I found this is a quick, easy way of doing it. And then mysteriously, the define custom shape becomes available. Okay, once you've got that, you can actually define that as a custom shape, the whole design you just created. And I'm gonna get rid of that. Now I don't want that, because I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna actually select. And there's lots of other shapes, of course, in that uh, rings design set. And I'm just gonna apply that shape. And now it's a vector layer, just the same as before. It's a shape layer. So now I can just go to edit, transform, and I say perspective or distort, and I'm just gonna go for the distort option. And you can distort the shape, obviously, in numerous ways to create some very unusual distorted ring designs. Okay, so you've actually got that design. Of course, you can actually go over here. Again, select that. And you can also go and just define that as a custom shape. Don't have to. Uh, and you can just continue and create a vast number of different custom shapes if you wish. Or you can at the end just go layer, flatten image. And there you have it. You've got a design, nice ring joined design in a few, uh, few minutes or so. Hope you found this quick tutorial of interest. 